Zealand hip hop, Dawn Raid Entertainment. Let me show you a bit of history. This was a movement and a moment that really changed the landscape of New Zealand music and arts and culture. Dawn Raid was the first New Zealand hip hop label. It's always at the centre of my mind that we're a family. It's quite amazing. We stuck together for 25 years through thick and thin, ups and downs. It wasn't a record label, it was a family. <laughs> oh man, some onions. Wild in the Not many record labels are attached to a place. Motown, you know, Detroit, Flying Nun, Dunedin. A big part of Dawn Raid's existence, a big part of their way was South Auckland. There was never a gap on the radio. That's right. From the moment we put out Fallen Angels, until the end of 2007, there was no gap at radio. It was one Dawn Ray song after the other, R&B, yeah. hip-hop, hip-hop, And hip -hop, the others. And the, the rest of them. Back Scribe back comes back. along and smashes everyone. Yep. You know, that drives us to keep Go pushing hard. hard. Yep. You know, we turn into, you know, savage mode. You know what I mean? It's, that's what I loved about that time. We all drove each other. It's been a long time coming, if a shorter time going. The Dawn Rays were basically designed to drive us out of New Zealand because they'd had enough of us. They thought somehow they could get rid of the Pacific people and hello, we haven't gone anywhere. We're still here, still adding to this country. Dawn Raid was probably the best name they could have chosen for their company. If, if you look at hip hop history, the way they take things that are traditionally negative about their community and then flip it and empower themselves with it. Dawn Raid's probably the best example you could do in New Zealand. They reclaimed those two words and now it's a, it's a symbol of pride and resilience and resistance. To us it was a game. We played that game. Our goal was to get our artists to America. I wouldn't say it's the apex. That's a big word. It's a big, big word, man. There's an X in it. <laughs> yeah. um, we sold millions of records, so it was definitely an important part. You know, but spin around to 2021, Josh685 just sold a million records too. Yeah, the landscape's changed, but I think the thing about youth is, youth will always lead. That's the key thing, like as the world changes, the youth don't. They're still irritable, restless, and ready to take on the world. Our era is gone. It's incredible. I think the landscape... Uh, Excuse me, cut you off there, brother D. Oscar Kiley's just making so much noise in the back. Like, <laughs> he's so rude. Like, he's the director of the film, but it's our story. You know, just a little bit of class. <laughs> Oscar... Oh, it's automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, on the road to Kitty Kitty Roa. I'm stoked, and I'm really proud of this film. And, um... Proud of the audience response it's been getting from our advanced screenings. On the Q&A tour, the public had an opportunity to ask questions, but what we got was um, they were actually telling us stories as well mm. of what Dawn Raid meant to them, and being able to hear that, and, and you know, very humbly. Like it was some crazy superstar shit that we were experiencing. We were loving the dream, traveling the world. Here we come, Polynesian invasion. I really want Pacifica people to see this and just take pride in what some of our own achieved and are continuing to achieve. We're a couple of characters, you know, we're not supposed to win. You know, we're from the hood, we're not supposed to win. I think they really just smashed the glass ceiling and showed everybody what was possible. It wasn't always a happy time and that's in the film. But ultimately, you know, we can stand back and look back at that time and go far out. That was amazing. And there's no reason why it can't happen again. But man, that was special. The ripples from Dawn Raid are still going. A lot of stuff that comes after is possible because of the work that they did. Fight.